Hello. Let's make some pizza. Bye. New camera setup. I'm not using two cameras. I'm not using my phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of what I'm currently looking at uh, to film this video. Audio jungle. So in my last baking video, I showed you how to make bread and it failed miserably. Oh, sh So I've used my connections at my work and I've got myself some dough. So here's today's dough. This is what your dough should look like when it's risen. Uh, it should be, should be nice, it should be soft, it should be supple. Assuming you followed a correct recipe, and not mine, you'll have a, bu a, bu a bu You'll have a nice ball of dough. Take your, your ball of dough. I, I don't know if pizza dough is different from bread dough. Um, but take your, your dough of choice and sprinkle some flour on your work surface. And I'll show you how we do it at my work. So we're gonna just punch all the air out of it. This has a lot of air in it. It's also just very satisfying to play with. I have to crouch a bit to get into shot, but that's fine. So here's my dough. Um, which gonna, I'm gonna do this with my fingers and I'm just gonna form a crust. I need more flour. I'm just gonna form a crust along the edges of the dough. Before I was so rudely interrupted, I'm just going to form a crust along the edges of the dough. Uh, this kind of looks like a heart. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm forming a crust uh, and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to, using one hand like that and the other hand like that, you sort of want to clean a screen. Uh, and that's going to allow us to stretch the dough. If you have more flour on the work surface, bloody hell. I'm salt bay. Form the dough, stretch it. Yeah, so just keep stretching it. Just sort of do whatever. Work the crust, work the middle. Make sure it doesn't tear in the middle. If it does, not a problem. Just wet it a bit stick it back together. And while you're doing this, you want to make sure your oven is preheated to about 180C. This is so terrible. Why am I so bad at everything I cook? I made some banging scrambled eggs earlier and now I can't even stretch a pizza dough. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna roll it. Okay, so you're gonna need a fork or some pronged device because when this goes in the oven, it's gonna, it's gonna rise, it's gonna poof up. So you wanna just, because uh, otherwise you get bubbles. Now my dough looks like this. Uh, so I'm going to put that on a baking tray. That is too big. I'm going to put this on a baking tray that's too small because I'm prepared. That'll be fine. So assuming of course that you are a prepared cook, you want to get some plum tomatoes. I currently don't have access to my sink, so I can't wash my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Is my camera falling? If you're cool, you have a dust... Ow. You have a dustpan and brush. If you don't, use your hands. Uh, I'm just going to quickly wipe the surface down and wash my hands in the bathroom. Okay, so I may have just realised that because my... Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have plum tomatoes here. I just got these from Lidl. I didn't buy a sauce because I've seen many YouTubers make it. This is so tilted. I've seen many cooking videos use plum tomatoes. So I'm gonna do that. I really hope I have a can opener. I don't have a can opener. Pause the video until you have a can opener. Pizza attempt to make part two. Okay, it's been a month. Um, actually, no, it's been more than that. Today is August 1st. I don't know when I recorded the last part. Audio jungle. But it's been a while. So let's get cooking looking. 
Uh, oh, I've also got a can opener because that's what stopped me last time. So I'm actually going to be able to do it this time. So first things first, I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my worktop just so that nothing sticks. I'm actually going to use a bit more than that. This time I'm going to make a thin crust pizza, not only because the last one didn't work out, but because I'm going to make it a stuffed crust pizza. So discard of the bowl and this, this be our dough. So I'm just going to coat this in flour. I'm going to flatten the sides out. I need way more flour, good lord. I'm going to flatten the sides out. Make a thin crust. I, I underestimate how much flour I actually need when working on a surface that isn't stainless steel. I f***ing torn a hole in it again! What is wrong with me? Okay, whatever. So I'm going to stretch this out a lot. Oh my god, I'm doing something wrong. I've gotten better at this at work. I don't know why, okay, whatever. Now you have a pizza, just get the flour off of it. We'll do one of, we'll do one of these, shall we? With we'll all these holes. What? That's outrageous. I would not serve this if I was at work. Uh, I work in a pizza restaurant, by the way. This is fine. Um, Okay, I'm gonna put cheese in it now. Um, I need to dock it. Okay, pizza's docked. I'm gonna get my cheese. I'm using pre-grated mozzarella because that's just easier. Uh, and these vegan sticks of cheese because they're delicious. Just get a bunch of sticks of cheese. If you don't have cheese sticks, uh, you can just like form sticks out of grated mozzarella. Uh, I'm just gonna line the edges here as best as I can, considering that this isn't circular in the slightest. So once you've stuck your cheese in, just roll the edges of the dough over on itself. Ensure that you've got like a tight seal between the cheese and the dough, because you don't want much air, if any, coming out of this thing. Oh, I need to put the oven on. Uh, preheat the oven to 220 or like gas mark 6 whatever that is I said 180 last time I don't know why I said 180 because uh, you want it as hot as fuck and also if you can make sure you leave a tray in the oven so that you can uh, like basically blast the bottom of your pizza with, with heat so just tuck in the cheese sticks into the crust Actually doing that has caused my pizza to almost become round, which is very nice. Uh, there is still a lot of holes in it, so I'm just gonna... <clears throat> with a lovely gin glass of water, I'm just gonna brush some water over there so that it sticks. Which is a bit more professional than what I did last time. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna put some flour on there just so I can flan it out again. That's far too much flour. I don't trust myself to pick this up and then not have the holes reform. Um. <coughs> okay, that's our pizza base done. Uh, so now we're gonna do the sauce, uh, which is where I got stuck last time. So I've got these plum tomatoes because I wanted to make my own sauce. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna open. How the f done that? I was turning it the wrong way. Yeah. Okay, I've got some. I'm gonna pry this open. How do you work? It's. Been, I'm not gonna lie. It's been so long since I've used a f***ing can opener. This is not working out as smoothly as I hoped. I'm just gonna season the sauce with some salt, pepper, mixed herbs. Uh, we put a bit of mixed herbs. Let's get one of these. I'll get a potato masher, because there's like a whole potato in here that you see. Uh, but potato, I meant tomato. It's like form. This was a terrible idea. I'm just gonna mix in the seasoning a bit. That's gonna break down the tomatoes a bit. 
Uh, and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to form a nice sauce. Uh, so I'm not going to use this thing. Do I have a ladle? I do! Oh my god, I have a ladle! Alright, ladle in your sauce, or if you're me, just pour it in there. Spoon it around. There is so much sauce on this pizza. This is not at all how I meant to do it. I'm literally professional at pizza making, and this is horrendous. This is outrageous. Um, sure. Now I've got a pizza base. Uh, we're gonna put some cheese. Cheese, grommet. I need to... Where, where is anything I own? And I'll show you how we do it at my work. Um... We do a thing called the cheese lock, where we just put a bunch of cheese on the edges. And then we fill it into the center. So I'm just going to put a shed load of cheese on there. Maybe like half the bag. Amazing! Now I have a cheese pizza. Uh, do I have any toppings? Because the cheese, you know, cheese pizza is fine, but... Can I put slappy cheese on it? Salami? I mean, it kind of looks like pepperoni. We can pretend it's pepperoni. Well, that's enough salami. So, uh, the oven's getting close to temperature. So, I'm going to wait for a minute. Uh, is that safe? Is that going to melt? How sturdy is this fuck? Ah, yeah. I don't have a pizza peel. Oh, this is so bad. <clears throat> Let's get a thumbnail. I'm doing a title one. It's sliding. There we go. Right. Uh, I'm going to stick this in the oven for 10 minutes. And it should come out fine. Holy shit. That's so much flour. I'm gonna go change. It's almost time to get out. Get a plate. Cause you're going in the ash. Mm. Yeah. Get a plate. I don't have a pizza cutter. I'm gonna use a knife. Yellow. I'm gonna put something down to protect my table from melting. Don't know what. Ah, oh, how about a wire rack? It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. There is cheese dripping down my oven. But that's, that's rather successful. It is hard to go wrong with bread and cheese. However, this looks good. It's very greasy. Ow. It has, it has in, in fact, adhered to the surface. Oh, huge, let's go. Is that a bad idea? I produced an ungodly amount of washing up. I'm gonna cut. Cool. There is so much grease on this desk. Oh, good God. Bon appetit! There is far too much sauce on this. But it's good. I mean, it's bread and cheese. Ah! Uh, so that concludes this pizza video. Um, tune in next time. Or I make something else. <laughs>